Okay, everybody, the time has come. We're gonna do a candle video. Got a lot of questions about candles, how to fuse the candles, and what's the best way to fuse the candles. So I'm gonna do my best to kind of show you how this is done. Keep in mind, there is a lot of RNG in candle crafting, so we're gonna kind of just see what happens here. So the big thing that's important is you need to match the mods and the tier. Ideally, you want to have, you know, everything matching and you have better shots here. But to start off with a basic candle, you're going to match your mods. So I want to try and get a plus two minion level candle. So I need to use minion attack speed or minion damage. So and they have to both be tier one. Once they're active, you'll get these options here. The yellow ones are doo doo. You're trying not to make yellow fusions until very end game min-max perfect kind of Hail Mary attempts, but most of the time you're going to brick your candles when you start just using yellow fusions. You want to get the purple and the blue options. Once they're active, you'll see them. They'll show up on the side here. You'll be able to click on these. You can see view possible rewards. So this one can give me growth, which is great. And it could also give me, well, I guess this one doesn't give me two minion skill levels. Oh, it does. There you go. Two minion skill levels. And then they have the super mods here. These ones do not matter what the mod is. Any tier one mod that matches the same tier one mod has an option to roll into these. And these are super, super powerful. So there are some you're looking for. Myself, I like servant damage. That'd be great. Crit strike damage, that'd also be great. So there's a lot of good things in here you're looking for. All right, so we're gonna try our luck and hopefully we can get some good candles here. Bam! Hey, we got a growth candle with sealed mana. That's actually really good. That's a good start. That's a good start. All right, let's see what else we can do. Here's a minion damage, and uh, there's another minion damage. All right. So see, we have it activated. We're good to go. Now, in a perfect world, this will turn into a plus two. I'm going to get this minion as well on the candle. And eh, we don't really care about the other mods. So in a perfect world, this is a plus two. This moves over, and we're happy. Let's see what happens. Absolutely nothing. Well, it did move over, but it didn't upgrade, which is good, because now I can keep using that candle to try and do it again on a different one, right? So now we're gonna find another matcher. Ooh, this one's not bad, except I don't need that crap. Uh, let's see. Hmm, where do we got up here? What do we got here? Anywhere, anywhere, anywhere? There's a minion attack, sure, why not? Let's do that one. We'll do a minion attack and bam. Absolutely nothing. All right, we try again. All right, we go here. We'll take our minion attack again. There's a minion attack, some minion damage, some cursed skill, radius. It's all good stuff for me. Let's see what happens. Hey, we got another growth candle with minion damage and cooldown recovery. All right, that's pretty good. Pretty good. All right, let's see what else we can do. There's a minion damage. That's a curse effect. That's a curse effect. Let's do curse effect, see what happens. So let's look at the options for curse effect. Oh, these candles are exactly the same. So when you have two identical candles, and you can get identical candles by using the skill tree at the south side, there's actually mods you can spec points into that increase the chance to duplicate candles. As well as using the pets, you can duplicate candles that way. But getting candles that have exactly the same shit makes it really, really easy to get really, really strong candles. So let's see what happens here. Oh, it went down, but then the other two went up. And to be honest, these are the ones I like more. So this is actually decent. All right, let's see what else we got. Minion attack, minion damage, double, mi okay. All right, we'll do some minion damage fusions. Here we go, here we go. And, ah, balls. Well, can't win them all, can't win them all. We'll keep going, let's see. We, we, we wanna get that plus two, right? Where's that plus two hiding? We want to use the purple ones up first if we can't. Cooldown, recovery, and... Oh, that's a really good one. That's a re you know what? I might even use a blue one here. Just because I don't want to really add anything to it. Risk losing the good stuff. Uh, yeah, maybe we use a blue one for that one. All right. So we're going to throw that one in. We're going to find our blue candle here. There you go. Now, this will... Like, this will hopefully... If there's more mods, I could risk losing my cooldown recovery. It might get replaced. This also sadly has the chance to brick it and, and make me only end up with a two modded candle. So it's really risky doing this kind of fusion, but we'll see what happens. And our minion damage went down, so, uh, you know, kind of shitty. Uh, <laughs> I 
let's see what else we got. Attack speeds. Yeah, it's a double blue, though. We don't really want to start with a double blue. We kind of want to end with the blues. There's a there's one and the cooldown. And yeah, we're running out of options here. It's time to get desperate. All right, in we go. All right, in you go. And bridge. And we bricked it. That's how you brick a candle. So we're trying not to do that. All right. What else we got to work with here? <laughs> I don't think we've even hit a plus two yet. This is not great, but uh, got a lot of growth to work with. So maybe we can play around with that. Let's see. There's an attack speed left over. Minion damage, minion damage, another minion damage, and attack speed. All right, let's do, and then down here we got nothing, right? There's a, okay, that's a decent minion damage, so we'll start with that one, and I think there's a minion damage purple candle somewhere I saw. Negative, all right. There's, the, there's a, this one's not bad. All right, let's see what happens. Ah, we got it, but not for us, sadly. I'm not, this is only good for Moto, it's not for us Iris players. Not what we wanted. Uh, well, that candle's garbage now. Uh, I guess we're moving on to attack speed. Is that it? Is that all I have left to work with? Let's see. There's an attack speed with fire pen. Uh, minion damage, a cooldown recovery, and minion damage, and attack speed. All right, so let's hopefully not brick our candles here. I think there's the other candles. Or, or down here. Yeah, we'll do this one. Why not? Boom! Plus two minion skill and minion damage. All right. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Now what do we do? <laughs> now what do we do? Where's the other one? There it is. Minion damage and minion damage. Bam. Synthetic troops. All right. So now what you what, what you can do if you really, really want, you can get really greedy. We're going we're gonna to try to be really greedy. We're going to take this mod, right? And we're going to try to combo one of these growth mods with it. So this one's a good option. Let's see if I could find a better. This one has sealed mana, which I kind of need. So maybe we use that one. This one has cooldown recovery. Um, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. So let's go with this one. All right. We're going to try to get both of these tier zero mods on the candle. As I said, these are all yellow now. This is a straight Hail Mary, completely random what's going to happen, but there is a scenario where you end up with both of these on the same candle. So let's see what happens. Oh, it's going slowly. Ah, we lost the, we lost the plus two. We lost the plus two, and that's what we wanted. Well, sadly, we didn't get much luck today, but hopefully this video helped you understand how to fuse candles. And if you have any questions, you're always welcome to join me live at twitch.tv slash Mike1Up every day. Feel free to ask me any questions you want every day while I'm streaming. On top of that, you can throw your comments into the YouTube comments. I do respond to them eventually, but if you're looking for that instant reply, the best to catch me on Twitch. All right, guys, happy fusing and good luck.